Hello, heroes. It's Silent Signs from I Dream of Indie, and today we are taking a look at Scarf, a slow-paced 3D puzzle platformer. In Scarf, you play as a nameless protagonist who sets out to trap rebellious souls with the help of his dragon scarf. The story is told through a combination of narration and cutscenes, and it does leave a lot up to the interpretation of the player. There are also multiple endings here, so the ending that you get is going to depend on how much exploration you're willing to do. With that setup behind us, let's delve a little deeper into the gameplay of Scarf. A lot of the focus of the game is going to be using your Scarf for various abilities. The further you get, the more abilities that you're going to collect. For example, you can use the Scarf as wings or a hang glider. There is a fair amount of platforming in this game that's going to have you jumping from crumbling platforms to jump pads, all the while keeping your eye out for collectibles and solving puzzles. I will say that the level of puzzle difficulty is probably on the easier side. Maybe I've just played too many puzzle games this year, but I didn't find any of them particularly challenging. They do also get a little bit repetitive. There are going to be a lot of occasions where you're collecting items to bring back to your dragon to regain your abilities, or puzzles where you have to block beams of light from hitting a crystal. That's not necessarily a knock against the game. They did kind of advertise it as a slow-paced, more casual experience where you can look around and appreciate the scenery versus racking your brain trying to solve a puzzle, so in that case, this kind of makes sense. I will also say that the platforming was a little bit sluggish as well. The jumps, especially when you don't have your dragon abilities, feel very stuck in the mud, which is not my favorite when it comes to platforming. The game is also very particular about where you're standing when you interact with an object, so you need to pay close attention to when those prompts come up. Since Scarf is such a visually appealing game, I think my favorite aspect of the gameplay was just exploring these environments and collecting the different types of collectibles. There are art pieces that you can collect as well as little story snippets. Scarf is on the shorter side. I'll say it'll probably take you maybe four to five hours, depending on your experience with puzzle platformers, but you do have the option to go back in and try for a different ending if you'd like to extend your playtime. As I briefly touched on before, my favorite aspect of Scarf is definitely the graphical style. I really love the artistic look of this game. You get to explore three different worlds with vastly different environments. Each world feels open, but at the same time, there is a clear linear path, so you can't get too lost. As far as the actual performance, I did run into some frame rate dips, which didn't break my gameplay by any means, but did take me out of the the immersive experience a little bit, but what helped kind of reel me back in was the excellent sound design, especially the sound effects in Scarf. I think that the choices that they made for water effects, for example, when you're walking through water or the rustling of the leaves was just really immersive and again helped kind of bring me back into this world of scarf the sound track was also really nice it wasn't the star of the show by any means but there was some nice use of piano and ambient sounds there were some moments where there was no sound track playing so the only thing that you got was those sound effects that i was mentioning before which was fine it kind of helped fill the void Scarf as a whole package shows a lot of promise. It has some really beautiful environments, a really nice sound design. It just is not quite at its full potential. I feel like maybe the next journey for these developers will be even greater. I just didn't quite connect with the story as much as I was hoping to, and the platforming feels like it needs just a little bit of fine tuning, but there is a whole lot of potential here that I can't wait to see realized in the future.
out. So will you be bundling up with Scarf? Let me know in the comments down below. Before I go, I just want to thank our indie warriors, Bill T, Christian Cruz, Kevalo, Mitchell Hall, Chris Jackson, Nathan Moore, Adriana Amato, CJ R, C Coil, Skeptism, Hallie, Julian Colvis, Jen Rose, Jesse, CPM, Bunny, JRS8, Raylan, Marky Mint, Dave Harp, and John Winston. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, don't forget you can subscribe down below so you don't miss any of our reviews and previews, and check out the description box if you'd like to see how to become an indie warrior yourself. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.